Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we are going to discuss about structural stability test in AVUs. It may happen in any economic series, economic time series, that there is a policy change which has happened in any year. And because of this, there is a shift in the mean. Now, when such thing happens, the entire equation in both the time periods differs. So, Technically, when we use any regression model involving the time series data, it may happen that there is a structural change in the relationship between the regression y and the regressions. By structural change, we mean that the values of the parameter of the model do not remain same throughout the entire time period. So, there is a test to check the structural stability. Basically, this test consists of breaking the sample into two or more structures, estimating the equation for each of them and then comparing the sum square of residuals from the separate equation with that of the whole sample. Let us see how we can do this in AVUs. Now let us run the equation quick. Estimate the equation. Savings C income. Enter. Click OK you will get the model. After this, you will have to run, view, stability diagnostics, chow Brug point test. Here, we will have to specify that which time period you consider to be as a structural break or the time period in which the policy has changed. For example, we take here 1982. Click OK. We got the answer. Now, we will have to take this result into word file and let us do the interpretation. Now we will have to see the p-value of this f statistics. The null hypothesis is there is no structural change. Alternative is there is a structural change. As the p-value of f statistics is 0 0.0006 which is less than 5% level of significance. We reject null hypothesis which means that there is a structural change. It is very clear from the above results that the slope and coefficients of two time periods are completely different. This means that we will have to estimate two different equations for two different time periods. Now how we can do this? We will again go in estimate. The equation is already there. We will have to change the time period. So I will specify here that from 1970 to 1981 we will be having a different equation. So we will report this results for the time period 1970 to 1981. And for the remaining, I will again go here and I'll change this time to 1982 to 1995. So we'll be having two sets of equations for two time period. Basically, we are doing this thing because there is a policy change which has happened in any of the variable. And because of this, there is a presence of structural break in the series. And that's the reason we are estimating two different equations. For more videos on Econometrics, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button.